Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. So I made a video yesterday showing you my stuff from the glam shop, aka the thrift store. So I did a little patriotic shopping there. I didn't have found that I didn't have very much for uh, 4th of July or Labor Day or Memorial Day type stuff. So I picked up a few items and now I'm going to show you guys where I place those items at in my home. This is my entryway table that I talk about all the time. It's the table that when you first come in the door, it is where I do a whole lot of decorating. I mean, I put my Halloween here, some Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever, whatever, Easter. This is that little table that I use. So um, starting off to the left here, this is where I put the little angel. And then that pillow back there, that stays there all the time. I found that pillow at, at home. And it is a burlap type of pillow. And then I have this little basket, a little wire basket. It's kind of rustic looking. It's got brown handles on it. And I found this at Kroger on the clearance rack. Inside of that is a where I change up things quite a bit inside that basket but for the most part my clock stays and that clock came from Dollar General there you can barely probably see it but behind there is a little um, antique picture and that came from Burlington Coat Factory the ampersand I purchased at um, Michael's they went on clearance for like 90% off so I don't know I think I paid maybe 80 cents and it does light up I don't know if I can show you guys that yet now with my one hand here but it does light up and there's that Behind there, I just have some little birch tree sticks that uh, um, we went to some kind of outdoor big event and it sold all kind of uh, different things. I mean, you name it, they had it. It was almost like an outdoor flea market. We went with my parents like maybe three years ago. I used those in my Christmas decoration, Halloween decoration, fall. So I stuck them in there for now. And then there's a few twigs from just outside. The plate that I purchased the other day. I put that right behind my clock sitting inside the basket. And then this little arrow thing I found this summer. And I found this at Dollar Tree. And I just kind of liked it so I threw it in there. It says live your adventure. It's a wooden arrow. You're supposed to hang it up but I just lay it in there. So then come on over and I place my little bell right there. My candles stay there all the time. And the wood sign, I kind of propped it up behind my candles and my flower vase. And that's the Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness sign that I hauled yesterday as well. And then behind that, I have some pink and white flowers. I didn't change those out. They're just sitting in a... Um, they came from Dollar Tree. And the little vase is clear. They're sitting in. It came from the thrift store quite a while ago. I use it all the time for like 39 cents or so. And then behind there is one of my thrifted bird cages. You guys seen that a couple videos back. Uh, I can't remember if it was a quarter, 50 cents, something. It was way under a dollar. I know that. And it came with the candle that's inside. And this big guy, he stays here as well all the time. I found him at a yard sale about three years ago. And then to the corner, I have my little plant stand that I purchased a long time ago. And it um, simply just has some fake flowers in it, but they look really real if you could see them in person. They look really good there. I like it. And then the frame that I got for half off of nine cents, I just took a... I'm also a scrapbooker. You guys know that. So I took... Um, some vintage photo distress Tim Holtz uh, stamp pad and I kind of aged the frame up a little bit more then I took some scrapbook paper and I cut that out 
and I use my Tim, has, Tim Holtz Distress Marker around the edges of the newspaper print and then I took my Cricut and my cartridges and I used them to make the letters USA. Thinking about maybe putting some flowers in the corner, red, white, and blue, I'm not really sure yet because I think I'm going to kind of use this frame for different things so I don't really want to specifically put it in the patriotic department so I don't know we'll come up with something still looks a little plain to me but you know I like it so the entryway table has two shelves and if you come down a little bit I have these baskets that my daughter gave me she got them at I think it was Dollar General maybe about eight nine months ago so they are some burlap woven baskets. They were like four and six dollars. I also have some in my uh, breakfast nook area. Behind that, I have a bird cage that I got at Michael's years and years ago. There's a little owl peeking out because I love owls. And my daughter and granddaughter gave me that for, I believe it was Mother's Day. And I love him. It came from at home. Behind that, I have this little wooden candle holder. It's actually a glass, but then it has like wood branches around it. I can't even really remember where I got it because I had it so long. And I just stuck a uh, battery-operated candle in there that I thrifted from the thrift store. Then uh, the big hello sign. That is from Hobby Lobby. I've also had that for a couple years now. And then that is just a piece of wood that it's sitting on that I want to cut in half and drill a, a base in the middle and make some candlesticks. So, yeah. That is what I did with everything that I purchased um, from the thrift store for my little patriotic spot here in my hallway or entryway. Hope you guys like it. Talk to you later.